Hello, and welcome to Beyond Earth News. I'm Zach, and with me as always is my friend David. David, what are we talking about today? Today, we're going to talk about NASA's recent announcement of the crew for SpaceX Crew-10. We're going to do a brief overview of the uh, crew members assigned, as well as take a look at a few of the details of the mission. All right, sounds great. Let's get into it. Crew-10 is, perhaps unsurprisingly, the 10th flight from SpaceX for NASA's commercial crew program. The astronauts will fly no earlier than February 2025 and will replace the members of Crew-9. Crew-9 has yet to launch to the station, with August 18th as their initial launch date. As is befitting of a flight to the International Space Station, the crew of Crew-10 is an international mix. The crew consists of two Americans, one Japanese, and one Russian. Now, let's meet the crew. First up, acting as crew commander, we have NASA astronaut Anne McLean. She is a U.S. Army Colonel with degrees in Mechanical Engineering, Aerospace Engineering, International Security, and Strategic Studies. She has over 2,300 flight hours in rotary and fixed-wing aircraft and over 800 combat missions. She was selected to be an astronaut in 2013. Crew-10 will be her second space flight, with her first flying in 2018, where she spent 204 days in space. Acting as spacecraft pilot, we have NASA astronaut Nicole Ayers. She is a major in the U.S. Air Force with degrees in computational and applied mathematics. She has more than 1,400 hours flight time and has flown over 200 combat missions. She was selected to be an astronaut in 2021 and is the first of her class to be assigned a flight. The first of the two mission specialists is JAXA astronaut Takuya Onishi. He has a degree in aeronautics and astronautics. He was selected to be an astronaut in 2009. He has spent a total of 113 days in space and has been certified as a flight controller. His first flight took place in 2016 and was on a Soyuz spacecraft. Finally, we have Roscosmos cosmonaut Kirill Peskov taking up the second mission specialist position. He has a degree in engineering and has spent time flying Boeing 757 and 767 aircraft for commercial airlines. He was selected to be a cosmonaut in 2018 and was assigned as a test cosmonaut in 2020. Crew-10 will be his first trip into space. Being a SpaceX mission, the crew will fly on a Crew Dragon on top of a Falcon 9 rocket. The crew will spend the time before their early 2025 launch training. This training will include preparations for flying Crew Dragon, as well as living aboard the ISS. It is interesting to note that Crew-10 had not been originally scheduled for the February launch, but had instead been scheduled for an August 2025 launch. February had been intended to be the first fully crewed Boeing Starliner mission, but with the delays and issues with the current crewed flight test, NASA has pushed that flight back to the August 2025 slot. So we've had a look at the announcement of Crew-10. Anything about the crew or the flight jumping out at you, Zach? Um, yeah, so first off, uh, I like that uh, Nicole Ayers has gotten her flight, um, watched the graduation for her, so nice seeing that class get uh, their first flight assignment. Um, also, the Starliner slippage here, the, the switch up uh, is, is interesting. Um, obviously, Starliner has been having some issues, some problems. Uh, we've still got uh, Sunita and Butch up at the station with their, uh, their Starliner issues. So it's interesting that uh, NASA is kind of saying, hey, we need more time on figuring this out, switch up the flights. Um, but those are kind of the, some of the things that have jumped out at me. What, uh, what about you? Anything there? Yeah, I think anytime that the international community works together, it's a great thing. And we've got astronauts from several different places mm -hmm. all working together here for this flight. And that's always good to see, um, get some of that that cooperation going. Um, I also, I think, hopefully, we'll be able to get the uh, the aforementioned crewmen back home mm -hmm. soon. Uh, hopefully, they don't stay up there too much longer um, when they're not scheduled to. Uh, but what about you back home? Let us know what you think down below. All right. You know what time it is. Please like and subscribe for more Beyond Earth news. Thanks for watching.